Hokimai Arnold, welcome back. Authorities are warning of potential death and devastation as Hurricane Idalia barrels towards the east coast of the United States. The powerful Category 2 storm is intensifying and is expected to make landfall in a few hours. But as US correspondent Mitch McCann reports from Florida, Idalia is already lashing parts of the region and millions of residents have been told to get out now. Hurricane Idalia barreling towards the south coast of the United States. From the Florida Keys up to Tampa, officials have been warning of Idalia's arrival for days. Heavy rain, storm surges and powerful winds of up to 170 kilometres an hour are already lashing coastlines. It's pretty scary. It's kind of yeah. crazy. Forecasters are predicting Idalia could wipe out entire communities in what will likely be the strongest storm to hit what's known as the Big Bend region ever. Millions of people are now under evacuation orders and authorities are pleading for them to leave. But by now, it's probably too late. One consistent response from everyone who made the decision to stay is that I will never do that again. So understand that Mother Nature wins every time. Well, it's just gone past one o'clock in the morning here in Florida and right now Idalia is a Category 2 hurricane. But by the time she makes landfall in the coming hours, she'll be at least a Category 3. And forecasters here say that's what constitutes a major hurricane. This image from space shows the sheer size of the hurricane, spanning more than 640 kilometres wide. That's the distance from Auckland to Wellington. In Crystal River, Amanda Chilcott and her family aren't taking any chances. The storm surges are expected to reach more than four metres, or 15 feet in some areas. I'm not worried about the winds, I'm worried about the water. So the water raising, like, that's going to come in the house, it's, you know, it's going to ruin your car. Now let me show you what that looks like. Let's bring that water up from three to six to above nine feet. It's all going to happen so fast. Imagine that, nine plus feet of water. This is truly unsurvivable. Preparing for the worst, hospitals are being boarded up and patients move to higher ground, while residents stock up on water and on gas. If you do choose to stay uh, in one of the evacuation zones, first responders will not be able to get you until after the storm has passed. And that could be days because Idalia is only arriving now. A hurricane forecast to cause carnage to a number of US states. Well, let's go live to Tampa, Florida, to our US correspondent, Mitch McCann. Kia ora, Mitch. How bad is it? Kia ora, Mike. Well, the rain is really starting to fall uh, on and off at the moment here in Tampa. But this storm or this hurricane is off the coast of Tampa at the moment, barreling towards the United States. It's already past Cuba and the Gulf of Mexico. It's caused significant damage, particularly in parts of Cuba. Now, when it reaches the United States, it's going to happen in about six hours from now. That's what the forecast is saying. It will land in Tallahassee, Florida. And by that time, it could be a Category 4 hurricane, which is obviously significant. Now, at the end of that story, I mentioned it's not just Florida. There are more states involved here. North Carolina, South Carolina and Georgia are also in the eye of the hurricane. They have declared states of emergency. So four states here in the US declaring a state of emergency at the moment. So I think, Mike, the next 12 hours is really going to be critical for millions of people in this part of the world, hoping like anything, their homes, their belongings and their family members are all going to get through this unscathed. Tēnā koe, Mitch.